Hi YouTubers, this is Love Bubbles Naturally and I'm coming to you with another weekly video as I promised. Some weeks I actually got two up. Anywho, I'm I just want to update a video on my curly hair experience. It has been a year and um, three months since I've had my hair straightened and it's been straightened again. So my hair was flat iron. And I have had people on Instagram who have shown me so much love, and I thank you for it. Um, it was different. I've never even seen this hair color straight. I don't know if I like it better than being curly. I think I love being curly. I think that the reason why I straightened it was because I was ready for a change. And I just needed a different style. And you know, there's only so many different ways I can manipulate my curls before I'm like, you know what? I'm kind of sick of curly hair and it's not to knock my natural hair I love my natural hair it's just to say that I needed something new and I was a little apprehensive to straightening because I thought I would get like tons of heat damage but I had a young lady she's older than me she's actually not younger than me she's older than me I'm gonna leave it at that and I told her my fear of straightening my hair she said I was being absolutely ridiculous because I take real good care of my hair, keep it washed, keep it moisturized, and I shouldn't have any problems getting it to revert back to curly because my hair is healthy and strong. My hair is not in the condition it was the last time I flat ironed it, which was, it was very dead before I big chopped. She was like, so I'm not gonna have all those issues that I had when I was straight before. I'm not mad. I have only been straight for three days. Um, I probably won't do it again for about six to months to a year from now, depending on when I'm ready for a change. Because you know, sometimes I'm ready for a change. I dye my hair when I'm ready for a change. And I normally dye it one color, and then I'm like, okay, that's my change. But I like this color because it looks natural on me. And by me working in the business world now, I find that you can't go and get some extreme crazy like pink color, especially at 26 years old. You have to consider the fact this color has to look natural on you and it has to be business professional. So I love this red. It's not Rihanna red as you can see. But I do like that with my hair straight, you can actually really see this color. And you can really see that my natural hair blends in with this color very well. So even though I have new growth, the new growth is blending in with this color. So that makes it look even more natural. Which means I picked a color that's probably parts of it is already in my hair. Like some people have tints of red, some people have tints of blonde, even though their hair is dark brown. Mine's possibly have tints of red. So when you dye it red, it blends. Anywho, so this is my straight hair. I'm going to take it down. It's longer than expected. Comb it out because my hair frizzed up. It doesn't get... I didn't straighten it bone straight. So, you guys won't be... As you guys can tell, it's not bone straight. But it probably needs to be combed out. Because I haven't combed it out. And this is my hair. And I'll show you guys from the back. One time. Alright, here's the back. This is the back of my hair. This is the length. This is how long it is. So, yeah. It is touches the top of my bra strap. Which is actually, it's in my bra strap. Like, it's like here, in the middle. Like, this is where my bra is, right here. And it's like here. So, that's kind of cool, actually. You know? Yeah. But that's if I had bone straight, which I don't. Anywho, I just wanted to show you guys how long my hair is straightened, and that I actually did it, and that I don't regret it, and that I know my hair is healthy and strong. My ends may not be even, but that's fine with me because I wear it curly the majority of the time anyway. So for the couple of for the week that I have it straight or so, I'm not gonna just cut my hair for one week of straight hair. 
Um, it looks great curly the way it is and I'm not going to change it. I clip my ends only when my hair dies. Um, so yeah, that's my hair. It's very, it's very healthy. I'm very happy with it. Um, I'm also still on my oil challenge. And even with my hair straight, there's nothing but oils in it. I haven't added any oils to it since the last time I washed it. And nothing. I actually let my hair air dry for two days. So this hair was not blow dry before it was flat ironed. It was air dry. And then I took like a regular bristle brush and I basically brushed out my curls. And then I used that same bristle brush to do the chasing method with a flat iron. My flat iron is really old. It was the one I was using before. It has like a temperature control on it. And I can't find it right now, but it's by Revlon. And it did a great job. Um, yeah. So the chasing method. Um, with the chasing method, it only took me one two passes the most I went is three depending on if I did the chasing method correctly because if I messed up at the ends the ends were frizzy in the middle was straight so I just started over and I rarely had to do a piece three times it the max was two but the front especially got straight in one pass with the brush method and I learned that from the glam twins actually so thank you glam twins you guys are awesome I love your videos and your hair straightening advice really save the amount of heat I put on my hair. I'm going to wrap it now because it's frizzy from the day and my hair is not bone straight so the wind hits it and you know it frizzes not just for moisture you know when the wind blows it around and just by it touching your shirt it can also frizz up. So yeah it's about to be laid down but my hair is so soft and so manageable with nothing but oils and I was so nervous with the fact that I was straightening my hair and I did not have a leave-in in. I was like, oh my gosh, is my hair going to dry out straight? But let me tell you, it's not. It's softer than it's ever been. Curly or straight. With nothing but oils, my hair has never been this soft. And it's naked, in my opinion, because it doesn't have a moisturizer in it. And it's so soft. Like, oh my god. So I'm going to definitely continue this one month oil experiment. Yes, I am because it's working. What I'm learning now is oil compression control because the first time I did it, I put too much oil in my hair and it started to, you know, run out of my hair and down my neck and stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to do um, my coconut oil as an oil rinse. And then an oil rinse is when you're in a shower and in between, after you're done washing and deep conditioning your hair, you put the oil rinse in and you leave it in for like 5-10 minutes then you lightly rinse it out. You don't rinse out all the oils, but you rinse out a lot of it, I guess they could say, but you leave some in there. You don't like thoroughly rinse your hair. And I've seen that a lot of YouTubers do that and it does give them moisture, which is fine because both coconut oil and water pass through the hair, so they're both moisturizers, so I'm not worried about that. And then after that, I'll add coconut oil and then I'll put the shea butter on and I think what that will do is it'll still give me the effect, but I won't have oil dripping out of my hair. I don't want my hair oily. But I want it to feel the way it feels now with nothing but oils. So, so far my hypothesis is correct. You can do this. But I'm still going to play with it to make my hair feel more or less oily and more moisturized the same. So I'm going to try the oil rinsing method with the coconut oil. And then I'm going to leave the almond oil and the shea butter the same. But I'm going to totally keep you guys updated. I'm also going to do a video of what I mentioned in the last video. And I'm going to do one on how to revert this back to curly to see if there's any heat damage. And I highly doubt there is because the lady said I take great care of my hair. And there shouldn't be. But hair is sensitive. Um, anywho, that's all I really wanted to tell you guys. This is Love Bubbles Naturally. Much peace, love, and chicken wings.